Okay, so now we're going to do a corner swap. I want the corners to flip positions, but I want them to keep in their same orientation. So the way that I do this algorithm is, here's the two that I need to flip. I have two that are correct. Those two are correct. This is my last layer. The blue and um, yellow are all correct. But when I look on the other side, these two need to switch positions. So this is yellow, um, red, and green, but it should be yellow, um, green, and orange. The yellow, green, and orange is over here on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is take the two that I want to flip, I'm gonna move them so that they are on the back side, right? I have my final layer facing up, this is the up face. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna work, I'm always gonna do this on my right side, although you could do it on the left side if you, if you prefer. If you were left-handed, for example, you'd probably do the left-handed version of this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna turn the right side away, I'm gonna turn the back side, so you notice that as I move this up, I'm gonna keep this side going away from me. So I'm gonna turn it up, I'm gonna turn the back side, and I'm gonna go one more. So that was three moves, just to repeat them again. I'm turning the right side up and away from me, I'm turning the back side away, and then turning one more time in this direction. Okay, so you'll notice that the white side, which is on the bottom down here, has now come up here to the top. I'm gonna to make one last move on the front face before I start returning, and that is I'm gonna flip this 180 degrees. You'll know that you did it done it correctly if you get a backwards L. So I get a backwards L in my opposite color, that's white is opposite the uh, yellow. So now I'm gonna back up those first three moves, but not exactly. So I'm gonna go backwards, I'm gonna go backwards on this side, but instead of continuing to go backwards, I'm actually gonna go forward one last time. I return to my L. I know I did it correctly. This is the second time I, I've come to my L. And now I'm just gonna undo these two sides. I'm gonna flip this guy all the way like this, and I'm gonna flip the guy all the way like this. And now when I look at my edges, all of my uh, corners are correct. So I'm gonna do the algorithm one more time. I'm gonna mix it up this time. So as I do the algorithm, since these two corners are correct, when I do the algorithm, that will actually flip them so they'll be incorrect. So I'm going to go up and away, away, away. I'm gonna take my front face. I'm gonna flip it all the way around. Now I'm gonna back up, back up, and go forward. And now I'm just gonna flip these last two. Flip and flip. So the result of that was that I still have two corners that are correct, so the, the red corners are correct, but if I look over on the other side, the orange corners are not correct. So the blue needs to go over here to this side, and the green needs to go over here to this side. So the way I'm gonna do the algorithm is to face them away from me, and I'm going to go away, away, away. I'm gonna flip the front face. I'm gonna come back, back, but on last move, instead of going back one more time, I'm gonna go back forward, and I'm gonna flip the front face and flip the right face, and now all of the uh, corners are correct. Now you might have to do that twice, so you may have all four corners are in the incorrect um, location. If that situation occurs, then you can just do the algorithm in any orientation, and it will automatically fix two of the corners. So let's say all the corners are wrong. You flip it around, and you, you find that not, the red are not together, the blue are not together, the orange are not together, the green, none of, nobody's together. There's no two corners that are together. You're gonna do the algorithm two times. The first time, you're just gonna pick any arbitrary orientation. It doesn't make a difference. I'll show you what that looks like. So if you look now, these two don't match, these two do not match, these two do not match, and these two do not match. So I'm just gonna pick any arbitrary orientation, doesn't really make any difference, and I'm gonna do the algorithm. I'm gonna go away, 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 flip the front face, back up, back up forward, flip the front face, flip the right face. Now as I rotate this around, you will see that these two corners were the ones that got fixed. Okay, so the orange ones are now correct, the, the two orange ones are in the right orientation relative to each other. They've been permuted to their correct positions. So I'm gonna bring them around so they match up with their correct centerpiece. And that means that the two pieces on the opposite side, these are the two that now need to be flipped. I'm gonna do the algorithm one last time. Away, away, away. Flip the front face. Back up, back up, forward. Flip the front, flip the right. And now everybody is oriented correctly. All of my um, corner pieces are now permuted into their correct orientations. That leaves only the cross to finish. And all I'm going to do is make a, a rotation of the center pieces here, these edge pieces, in order to get them in the right place. And we'll be done solving the cube.